Oh, hi -oh! oh, it still says Dang and Rumpa to Electric Boogaloo. Oh well. I guess so. Uh... <laughs> That's how long it's been since I have broadcasted something last. Just waiting for people to come in. Uh, let's see. <laughs> How do I chat, lol? Well, did you want to be like on a call? the third person do I count <laughs> I actually don't know if I count or not oh okay then uh hmm. let's just do text chat because it's kind of hard to focus on other things while I'm playing um there is a cool uh, cinema scene uh, in the menu that kind of like previews the game so I wanted to show you guys that uh, as if Brandon hasn't seen it and then I already made my character um, and I had saved him as a preset so we don't have to do that I practiced a little bit because I've been playing Skyrim and I didn't want to mess up the controls but only a little bit And I'll be quiet through the cutscene thing. <clears throat> they stole it from you even though it came out a few years before. I see. You must be very, uh, very prolific? Prolific writer? Wow. Spooky. There's a little bit more. This was us a few sessions ago. Bloodborne's cutscenes. Uh, I don't have online right now. Online does make it a lot more fun, to be honest. But I'm cheap. So I don't wanna. Oh, yes. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. 
Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. That's a nice hat he's got you there. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Where indeed? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. There's one thing I've learned from D&D, it's don't make any fucking contracts. Don't do it. It's bad. Especially if you are in dire need. Okay, so I'm gonna be Nikos. Is he a magician? <laughs> Cause of the hat? No. I'm, I'm a young'un. Oh, what should my, uh, origin be? I did milk toast, I think. <laughs> he's not, he's just British. <laughs> A uh, military veteran might be... Ooh. Well, it's not like my arcane needs to be high right off the bat. Um... Magician hat. Yeah, it is. I could do waste of skin and just suffer. <laughs> Start out six levels below what you're supposed to. No, I'm not doing that. Violent past might be fun. Does that give you higher strength? Uh, I should have thought about this beforehand, but I didn't. Yeah, I don't need skill as much. So maybe I'll do violent past, because that also gives you a little bit more arcane. Thoughts? Brandino, who actually knows what this stuff means. So, um, for reference, vitality is your health stat, endurance is stamina, strength is obvious, skill is like your dexterity, uh, blood tinge, uh, decides how much damage. <laughs> is this your dramatic backstory? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Blood Tinge decides how much damage guns do, and then Arcane is, uh, magic stuff. Um, there is a weapon that I really like that requires you to have high Arcane, and I also just like to use the Hunter tools, which all require high Arcane. So, that's fun. Um, and then, I'll load. So I tried making Sora, um, she kind of just looks like Tilda Swinton, cosplaying as Sora. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it didn't go very well, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh, this is my Hanzo. That's who I played as originally, and, um, this honestly influenced his character a lot. And then, here's my Nikos. It doesn't super look like him, but it's kind of hard to, you know. <laughs> You're not wrong there. <laughs> right? It does look like her. Okay. Um, then, I guess that's it. Big sorb. And then you get little bits of lore from items and stuff. Oh, that's a familiar name right there. Oh, I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Get another cutscene. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. <laughs> Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> yeah, if somebody says that and then starts laughing, it's time to be concerned. <gasps> Brandon is gonna eat one of my loft house cookies. No! 
betrayal. Betrayal. They're all stale, um, because of how humid it's been. They're they're a little bit old just from the grocery store, and then also it's been really humid, so they're not as like light and fluffy as they normally are. It's kind of disappointing, but also like they're still left house cookies. <laughs> wow. Rude. Goodbye, doggle. Yeah, Nana. Just so you know. Um. There's a lot of dogs in this game. None of them are good boys. And you generally have to kill them. Just forewarning. There are no good doggos in this game. Every single one of them will kill you if they have the chance. <laughs> and those funky little dudes. You found yourself a hunter. You found yourself a hunter. My Swedish accent leaves something to be desired. <laughs> yeah, they can be good boys in your heart, but they're not good boys uh, in practicality. Look at this doctor's office that I'm in. This kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> What's this shiny thing? Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Because, um, technically in the Japanese version, you do know this right off the bat. That that is supposed to be your own handwriting. So I wrote that note. Fun fact. Mouya. <laughs> I don't need anything else in here, right? Let me just knock over everything. Fuck you, clinic. Fuck you, clinic. Ooh. Let's see if I can do the... the traditionally... way too hard boss that you're technically supposed to die to. That is traditional for... Uh, Miyazaki games. <laughs> Let's just give him instructions. John Bloodborne made this glorious game. Thank you, John Bloodborne, for this game, Bloodborne. Thank you. I can only do hand choppies right now. Because I don't have a weapon. Choppy! I think I... Does that look like a good boy to you, Nin? <laughs> Level 1 monk versus doggos. Yeah, I don't think I... Like... I don't remember. Is there a way to stealth or do you just walk slowly? I think you just walk slowly, right? I don't think you can sneak up on this guy. Ooh, owie. Ah! <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is such a joke. I can't. Ah! He hit me through the table. Oh, nope. <laughs> no! Yeah. Understandable. This is his business partner, Richard Dark Souls. Dark Souls? Yep. End of- yep, that's the end of the whole game. Dang it. Fucking roguelikes. <laughs> oh ho, what's this? Oh ho? Oh ho.
There's there's somebody here. An abandoned doll. Let's see what else. We got some boys. We got some more boys. Yet more boys. And once again, boys. Okay. Uh, I can't really do anything about that. Just for reference. I can't do anything with this because I don't have online. That's mostly what it's for. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, you could do a uh, certain... How do how do you do gestures? I don't remember. Yeah. Hunter salutation. Milady. Milady. What firearm do I want? Well, I think I'm gonna take the blunderbuss because that's what I used last time. Um, the difference is that the hunter pistol does more damage, but it only does one shot. And the blunderbuss does a spread shot, so you don't have to be as accurate when you're shooting at people. Also, um, the gun isn't really <laughs> what you would imagine a gun to be, I guess. How do I do stuff? Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay. Didn't get that weapon yet. A wild neck beard. <laughs> Gee, thank you. Okay, so saw cleaver, axe, or cane. I usually take the saw cleaver. Um. No, no axe. The axe is good. I I will admit that the axe is good, but it doesn't do serrated damage. So why would I take it? When the first area is like all beasts. For reference, serrated damage is better against beasts. Uh, you can see the little doggo icon um, by special attack. It's bright yellow. <sighs> yeah, it has strength scaling in the trick mode. Trick mode. I'm gonna, um, yeah. Because I can buy the axe too. So, now I'm decked out. Oops. So you can trick your weapon, which changes its form. Uh, which is cool. I only have 10 bullets, so I'm not gonna show what that does. Here's the shop. It's just a little guy in a, a bird bath. <laughs> He would like my money. Just kidding, you don't use money. <laughs> Food in the soup? He's not in soup! <laughs> Dude in the soup. He's taking a bath. A nice comfy bath. Bone marrow ash. Does he want teeth? That would be amazing, honestly. Unfortunately, no. He wants, um... They're called blood echoes. Uh, nobody is 100% sure what they are. But it seems like... When you kill people, you get blood echoes from them. And... It is possibly their will to live? Or, like, their... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it beyond their wills is what the game refers to it as. Hey, fucker. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah, it could also be their souls, or like the power of their soul, I guess. The game really does not say explicitly. Of 
quick silver bullet. I'm very stylin', I will say that. Like, look at my freaking <laughs> suspenders that are going the wrong way. Honestly, like, don't- do those serve a purpose? Or am I just fashion? It seems like I am just fashion. I feel like there was an item around here, but I don't quite remember. Swagger of Tiny Toon. <laughs> That's a spooky noise up there. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Me trying to pretend like I don't know what I'm doing. Look at this hat! I want this hat! How come I can't pick it up? I would like hat. Item. Blood vials are how you heal. Um... You kind of inject yourself with other people's blood, I guess, is the best way to say it. Which might explain Hanzo a little bit in that one shot that we did. Was that a one shot or did that end up being a two shot? I don't remember. Do -do -do. Was two, yeah. I had fun. That was a fun one shot, two shot. Molly's. Woo. Mika. I wonder if Mika knows that Molotov cocktails are a thing. Fire bomb. I mean, I guess why would she use that when she can just fireball people? God. Scree. Barple lamp. So the lamp is how you go back to the dream. Yeah. The lamp transport you back to the hunter's dream. Upon death you will awaken at the lamp. So it's kind of like a checkpoint. If you listen very carefully you can hear a man coughing up a lung. His name is Gilbert and I love him. Oh, you must be a hunter. Um, I'm Gilbert. It's the fellow outsider. We must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. Oh, I think you're right. I think I we did make fire bombs. If there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Might be you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. I really like his voice. I think he has a very handsome voice. <laughs> uh, there is a certain character that has a very handsome voice, and I'm very dramatic about it every time I hear it. <laughs> That feels like you're just slapping them. I don't know why. Hello, hello! Kiki. <laughs> and then there's a freaking mob down here. Hello, mob! It's always better if you can just separate a few of them instead of getting all of them. You gonna come get me, dude? <laughs> Ow. Yep, that wasn't good. Ow. Uh, there is a concept in this game called rallying. Yeah, I need. Uh, in which you take a hit, um, and then there will be the red bar with the white line somewhere in the middle and if you hit back during that time you can get that health back um 
So it pays off to be aggressive, but you could also just die in the meantime, so... You know, that's great. Check this out. Ow, yep, catch yourself on fire, that's a great idea. What that guy? Anything. Trot along, will ya? So when we were first playing this game, <laughs> we kept um, trying to talk in the accent, but neither of us are very good at it. The only thing, <laughs> Brandon's favorite thing to say, I should, I should correct myself. This uh, Tuesday, it's Tuesday in it. Oh my gosh. Nope. I'm not here. <laughs> Plus British British accent. Yeah, I'm I really don't have a good one. Um That's just the way it is. I didn't see you there. That sucks. I could have rallied back that hell if I had been paying attention, but I'm not. There's a guy right here. I've played through this level a lot. Be gone, thought. I'd really like to get some armor. Uh, that would help a lot. can also kind of rally back a little bit um, while they're like falling down when they're dying. Uh, hey, doesn't this look fun and good? And definitely not ominous at all? What's going on over here, huh? And then usually these guys will come over. And then this guy. There's an item or two. Bonfire for the queen's birthday. What queen? We're not in Kanehurst. <laughs> queen Elizabeth. Is it her birthday? I'm confused. You can sneak up on people. And then you get something called a visceral. Does extra damage. Yeah, it was a, her jubilee a while ago, I thought. Platinum jubilee. Like, honestly, who cares, though? I don't, I don't know. Try to sneak up on this guy because he's got a fucking gun. Guns are not good for me. And there's a doggo here. Yeah, doggo will kill you. Sorry, doggo. Well, I'm having a rough time of it, to be honest. Uh, you would not know that I platinumed this game. Uh -huh. I don't remember how to run. Oh, like that, probably. That seems right. Lambert's got a gun! <laughs> What's that noise, huh? I don't know why I have to awkward laugh all the time, I'm sorry about that. Oh, I missed a, a lamp. Oh well. Not a, a warp lamp, just one of these lamps. Nice of you to say so. 
A carrion crow sitting on an oak. I, I seriously hate these things. I never see them where they are, and then they just do that. And it's very alarming when you don't notice them. And, uh, it's not my favorite. Should we see if I can kill this guy, or should I go get armor? Let's see if I can kill him. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I just keep doing the same thing and missing. Yep, do it again, why don't you? Ugh, this is stressful. I did it! Uh, Bloodborne actually happens over the course of one night, yeah. <clears throat> oh, those always make me really tense. I don't know why, it's not like they're particularly hard, but they do hit like a fucking truck. There's an item over here. Anxiety TM! Yep. It is anxiety. Cause like, I feel like no matter how much I play this guy, yeah, he's probably fucking exhausted. Uh, no matter how much I play this game, I always still manage to die to trolls every once in a while. Which is great for me. I love that for me. You can hear a little bit of a music box right here. Uh, usually when you see a lamp like that, uh, that means there's somebody that you can talk to here, especially if the window is lit up. Uh, the lore TM is that uh, there is a kind of incense you can burn to keep the monsters away. And so, whenever there is incense being burned, there's probably someone there. Fun fact. Those doggos in cages. Yeah, I can't leave them. I was gonna just try to ignore them, but... It might seem like they are just helpless and in cages, but in fact, they will break out and they will mess you up. I think these ones usually stay in, though. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. It's hot as hell. I'm really tired. Like... I want it to be summer so I can have plants, but at the same time, like, summer fucking sucks. Why is it so hot? Look at how bloody I am. <laughs> oh, I saw somebody. Can I open this door from this side? Yeah. There's a guy right there, and I can never remember what way he faces. That way. Apparently. <laughs> wow, look at this this item that I can get. Yeah, this guy will shoot you. And I don't wanna- nope. Nope! No! No! <laughs> Reeks of elderly. That's the kind of thing that you can post with the notebook when you have it. Um, you have online. And so people say stuff like, beware of elderly or reeks of elderly to warn you about stuff like that. It's pretty funny. So you can find notes like this that kind of give you a little bit of lore. Um, so this one says, when the hunt began, the healing church left us, 
blocking the great bridge to the cathedral ward as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Sounds like they're not very good at fucking leading. How dare they? For some reason, there's gray chests, or chests, barrels, and they always have skeletons in them. Seemingly no reason, but, you know, okay then. Hey, my dude. What is up, my guy? My dude? My brouhaha? Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I do not know who this third person is, but welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Should I go back to the dream? Uh, and level up? Wait, I can't level up, but I can buy armor. Right? There are, yeah, surprisingly, no skeletons in this game. Skeletons tend to be actually just dead people. Wait! I can think of one instance in which dead people are not dead people. <laughs> But that's pretty much it. Um, I can't remember. I think the Yarnum Hunter set is available right off the bat. I think. I don't remember. I guess we'll go see. And then we can meet Gurman. Hello again, Miss Doll. Even though you're not talking to me. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. Uh, I just barely don't have enough. That's great. I love that for me. Great. So, what should I wear? Definitely the chest piece. And then, I guess I'll get the hat and the shoes. Since... Oh, and does the doll come alive? We will see. So now I at least have armor. Um, and a tricone hat. <laughs> so let's go... Let's go check out the sick room again. Because there is something for us there now. In case it's not obvious, um, I have already played through this game pretty thoroughly, uh, and I know a lot of, like, lore things and, like, fun factoids, so. Not gonna get any, like, jump scares or anything, probably. <laughs> Hello, hello. Are you out on the hunt? Then I'm very sorry, but I cannot open this door. There's somebody there. I am Yasefka. The patients here in my clinic must not be exposed to infection. I know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. Please. This is all that I can do. Now Your Sefka's blood vial. And good hunting. Good hunting. I like her voice. So, uh, Your Sefka's blood vial. Blood vial acquired from Your Sefka's clinic. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a larger amount of HP. The product of a slow and careful refinement process, this rare blood vial appears to be a cl clinic original. I can speak. Uh, there are some lore things in the other items, so I'll just, I guess I'll just read them all. A Molotov cocktail. Explodes in raging flames when thrown against an object. One of the oldest hunter tools available in the workshop. Since the tragedy that struck Old Yarnum, fire has become a staple in beast hunts and is thought to cleanse impurity. Certain types of beasts have an abnormal fear of flame. 
So in general, um, when you're fighting beasts, so like dogs or the werewolf thing that I fought a minute ago, um, fire does extra damage, so that's helpful. Then we got pungent blood cocktail. Mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. In Yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol, as the former is more intoxicating. So that kind of gives you an insight into what kind of society this is. Pebble. Quite thrilling. <laughs> uh, we got cold blood dew. Droplet of cold blood containing blood echoes. Used to gain blood echoes. Hunters sustained by the dream gain strength from blood echoes. They imbibe the blood with thoughts of reverence, indeed gratitude for their victims. Then we got Hunter's Mark. Dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes but awakens afresh as if it were all just a bad dream. Imagine you go to the pub and they ask what's on tap. Oh no. And then just the notebook. Got a bloodstone shard. I don't think there's really anything lore wise to that. Um. I'm gonna do that later. What do you think is for losers? Just kidding. Do, 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 do. So, it is kind of like Rapture, yeah. Um, so anyone can get blood ministration through the healing church, which is what the blood minister from before was helping me out with, was blood ministration. Um, usually, I think you have to get the first infusion uh, from a minister, and then you can benefit from blood regularly afterward. I'm pretty sure is how that works. Hail blood, you say? Hmm. Never heard of it. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing chart. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. There you go. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the healing church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Well, that kind of uh, answers your question, I guess. Or at least adds some lore to it. This guy in particular. Got some more blood vials. Those are good blood vials. You need them for blood and stuff. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. Hehe. <laughs> I guess also fuck that guy in particular. Seeing as I, you know. And old people. Who likes old people anyway? <laughs> well, we will find out about that, won't we? Kind of feel like, uh coming back to me a little bit at least. Let's see if I can beat this boss that's coming up. <laughs> I 
<laughs> was it Maria? Let's just assume everything is Maria's fault, shall we? Hello, doggy. He had to eat the show. Well, maybe they saw like a snake eating it or something and they were like, oh, a food. I hate that you have to get by this troll to try this boss. Stress. Okay. Uh, my hands are all sweaty. Uh, it's pretty unlikely that I will be able to do this first try. Um, I haven't even been able to level up yet. So... Uh, if I embarrass myself... Be kind to me. Not very good. I cannot see. Oh my gosh. It sucks. I do remember that you're not really supposed to use the camera with this boss because it sucks so bad. That's not good. Owie. Ow. This is miserable, this camera. I keep missing too. <laughs> Like, way to go. Why can't I do transforming attack? I feel like I keep trying to do it and then it's like, the normal transform. Visceral attack! Visceral attack! No! <laughs> I missed my opportunity! I feel like I'm doing okay. die here. I still got it! <laughs> oh, that was really stressful. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Whew. Wow, my heart is pounding. I really thought I was going to die a few times there. Um, so as you can see, I got um, in the, the upper right corner. I got a whole bunch of blood echoes from that. That's the top number. And then the second number is called insight. And uh, you only get that when you see bosses. 
or you use certain items, or you beat bosses. So I got one for seeing him, and three for defeating him. Oh, my heart is pounding. Okay. Insight. Yeah, it is kind of like sanity loss. Uh, that is a very concise way of putting it, and also kind of spoilers, but you know. <laughs> uh, there are some other areas that I could go to from here. Yeah, the goal is to not be insane. Um, so you can see things that you normally wouldn't see um, with more insight, because like, if you think about the word insight, that makes sense. Um, but you can also spend your insight on things. Wow, what is this we've got here? Wow. <sighs> yeah. That's true as well. Nana, yeah, no, what's this, huh? <laughs> the little guys are gonna, gonna give me a present silencing blank. I don't need that. Um, again, it's online stuff. The beckoning bell is kind of cool though. Let's look at that. Oh, my heart is pounding so much. Is she evil? <laughs> Beckoning bell. Great old bell discovered in the underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. A human must use insight to ring this uncanny bell, but the benefits of cross-world cooperation are many. So that's fun. And then, um, we got Silencing Blank. Hunters are linked by the resonance of bells with special encoded timbers. This inaudible burst disrupts such resonance. Fire to end cooperation and prevent further cooperation. Does not disrupt the resonance of a sinister bell. So that's not what this is. Um, that is an item you can buy somewhere else. Let's go get this, shall we? Oh yeah, this is fun. Old Hunter Bell. <sighs> uh, where is that at? Oh, here it is. One of the resonating bells that cross the gaps of worlds. This bell is cracked and stained with the blood of beasts. A human must expend insight to ring this uncanny bell. The old hunters, who have long passed from the dream but cannot forget the feeling of the hunt, rely upon messengers to relay their thoughts. Ring the bell at their side, and they are certain to give a listen, for the night of the hunt is long and unchanging. And then, this is what I got for killing the cleric beast just now, from which I am still sweating. Uh, <laughs> sword hunter badge. One of the badges crafted by the healing church. The, so the silver sword is a symbol of a church hunter. Ludwig was the first of many healing church hunters to come, many of whom were clerics. As it was, clerics transformed into the most hideous beasts. So there's that. <sighs> okay, we can talk to the doll. <laughs> Look at her outfit. Isn't she cute? She's got little sunflowers. Or something? Little flowers pinned into her bonnet. Hello, good hunter. I'm a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. We will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Level up, level Very up. Well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me Oh! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> I'm the best! What? Hmm. 
I really don't like the um moving the controller in certain ways. Uh, makes you do gestures. Stand close. Now shut your eyes. Cause then you got like me doing fucking T poses over the doll after I accidentally shot her. <laughs> what would be good? Um. Yeah, I I shot her by accident. I didn't mean to, but that is how that is how you do. Um, I think I will boost my endurance and my vitality because I remember who the next boss is and I remember needing I to dodge a lot. May you? <laughs> Nikos would never hit a woman. <laughs> I'm sure Nikos has hit many women, but not like you know, with his hand, just like sparring. So we got some new items from the the badge that I got. Um, <sighs> yeah, uh, he talked to Ermeg, and he was very awkward. Lantern since no dark vision. He has dark vision, but like not in this game. Wait, wait, wait. I like how this guy just has like a bottle. Like he's like, here, child, have some alcohol. Not you fool. 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 What does that mean? <laughs> I'm confused. God, There. Let's see. Ludwig, the first hunter of the Healing Church, once recruited Yarnamites to serve as hunters. This hunter's attire was made for new recruits and has excellent straightforward defense, but not nearly enough to allow an ordinary man to stand any real chance against the beasts. <laughs> Nana, that's just because you would be into her, though. <laughs> Not you fool. Didn't, don't, didn't have your license? Okay. And then we got the insight shop. Buy with insight, make trades with messengers. So I can trade small resonant bell. A small bell discovered in old underground labyrinth. Its ring resonates across worlds, and the first hunter used it as a special signal to call hunters from other worlds to cross the gap and cooperate. This bell resonates with its counterpart, the beckoning bell. Ring to help hunters in other worlds. Online use only, cannot use offline. Yeah, I mean, Nikos is only like 16 or something, isn't he? Because orc ages are weird. Aha. Uh -huh. You must be the new hunter. Welcome to the hunter's dream. This will be your home for now. I am... Oh, Gammon. Friend to you hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts it's for your own good you know it's just what hunters do you'll get used to it no exposition at all the game is just like go uh go hunt some some beasts just do it it's fine let's go do it i can't believe i shot the doll. <laughs> I've read a lot of people online say that the the gun trigger is too sensitive and that they've accidentally shot people pretty frequently. I found a note. It says, To escape this dreadful hunter's dream, halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts, lest the night carry on forever. Well, that sounds fucking ominous. 
spooky. Go there. Something in storage. No. Well, I will put this away because I don't need it. Only re wear real armor in this house. Because I'm not good enough to not wear armor. <laughs> uh, Alright. Back. Back at it. Terribly worn and unsanitary. I'm like just coming down from like fight or flight mode. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is a stressful game. Yellow. Oh, don't like that. Hey, <laughs> victory is fine. I have emerged victorious. Oh, hi. Forgot about you. Just go to sleep. <laughs> Crow noises. Hello, doggies. I always have to shoot them because they just run around like crazy. Ooh, I am not doing so good. Dogs hurt. TM. Dog is harassing this person. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Ow. Sorry, doggo. Nope, I sure don't. What do I look like? Some kind of hero? Some kind of guy that does good things? <laughs> well, if you consider Trist good things, then I'm sure Nikos does that, yes. Boyfriends. I'm going to see my BFF. My BFF. Eileen. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. I love your outfit. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Thank you. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh hungry beasts now. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. Uh. No matter. Without 
fear in our hearts. There is one that uh, we think hmm, reminds us of something cute, and so like in that way they're cute, but uh, not really otherwise. What are you still doing here? She's a human. Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. A hunter must hunt. Classic. I accidentally killed her in my first playthrough. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. Cause I'd be real sad. I was sad the first time. Oh, she's, uh, I guess technically hunters are sometimes not considered human, I think. So, like, um, a lot of Yarnamites, uh, talk about hunters like they're separate from humans. Uh, there are some humans left, though. That lady that I talked to out there is still a human. No, thank you. Oh, you can have it, yeah. Brennan is asking me if uh, he can have my apple cider. That is... For adults only! <laughs> it was gifted to me, but I don't really like alcohol. Um, I guess... No, that will hurt me. I forgot that you take significant fall damage. Yeah, it is like Witchers, actually. That's a pretty good comparison. Just like that. I think it's funny, yeah, you can see that guy come out of hiding over there. <laughs> Why are you even shooting? I'm not here. You don't know. You don't know, guy. Ooh, you can hear the rats. Are you gonna like, he knows I'm right there. There's no way he doesn't know, and yet he's just like, yeah, okay. Oh, look at his arm. <laughs> one regular arm, one long arm. Length. One lengthy arm. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not here, you don't see me. Hey, he does have noodle arms. Like one very long noodly arm, one regular ass man arm. I'm still like I'm kind of impressed with myself that I killed cleric bees first try. That took me. Many tries the first time. I was not very good at this. I guess that's what I get for platinuming it though. Okay, I see that guy. And then the gunner dies. You know, I don't even actually have to do it like this. But I guess I'm gonna, apparently. Oh! 
<laughs> That's how that works. I don't remember where the ladder is. Oh, it's over there. Is he gonna come back up? thing kind of oh there he is <laughs> hey dude oh ow that hurt nope 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 not today that has a long range That wasn't good. Yeah, uh, I could have just gone down here. But then I have to fight the rats. There are items down here, though. I don't remember if they're any good, though! I guess I'm doing it! <laughs> Ow! Ow, that's not good. Oh my god, this is getting worse. <laughs> Go uh bloodborne tip. Don't don't let yourself get surrounded. It's not very good. It's not good for your survival. It's not very helpful for that. Um, what did I even get? Probably something not worth it. Hello, creatures. Ow. Oh, that actually is worth it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, uh, weird how in a game without refrigerators they need barrels to store their food. Oh, <sighs> This is a stressful game. I know I'm probably like bitching about that a lot. I'm just really not good with this kind of thing. And I wish it was, but I'm not! I heard a creature. Carrion crow. <gasps> Brandon! Creatures in the mud! <laughs> creatures! Go faster. Meow. Okay, so. Here's a question. Do I go over there and talk to the person at the window? Cast your votes. Because I have to go by that thing. I will get a significant bonus if I do. If I don't, somebody might survive. But who knows? Ow. Fucking carrion crows. God. Brandon's busy as. Nana, do you have thoughts? Should I risk my life? <laughs> I'm a sneaky boy. Nikos is not a sneaky boy, but I personally am a sneaky boy. Stretching has gone down. Trying for me, my dear, in this door. 
All right. You're right. No risk, no reward. I haven't really used my gun. I should probably do that at some point. Just kidding! It wasn't that the guy is hard! Plenty of quick buffer. And I get a shortcut. 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 <laughs> Did you hear that? Are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? Can you take it for a look for my mum? I think it's come back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Oh, hey. oh I hate you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, look at this music box. in his daddy's favourite songs. And one day he forgets the we play it for him so he remembers. His mom says so he's gonna rock without it. He forgets? Interesting. Is this lavender? No. I was gonna say, I can't get lavender to grow in my fucking nice, comfy garden. How's lavender growing on the streets of fucking Yarnum? But I was incorrect, it is not lavender. Woo! Creatures in the mud. I really don't like these things. Let's set up my hot bar. We got some mollies. Got a bevel. Got a music box. Got a Yosefka's blood vial. Oh my gosh, I keep... It only plays the two clips, I never noticed that. Waiya! Fuckers. Die, God. Yes, I know. These things are yucky. Anybody else in here alive? Because I would really like to avoid more of that. Unpleasant. God! 
trying not to get close to them, but it's not doing a whole lot. They're surprisingly hardy. Like... Nope. Not falling for that one. Uh, and then... Big creature. Ooh, big creature. Not the creature. Go away, you stinky. God. Sorry if this is not exactly riveting. Uh, it's only so much you can say about rotting corpses in the sewers. I'm just trying to get to the next spot. Thank you. Uh... Oh. Hello. I thought, um, there was a madman's knowledge in here. I guess I'm just remembering wrong. And then there's creatures up there. Creature, get down here. Creature. Become creature in the mud. Thank you. Creature in the mud. Look at what's down there. What is that? It is a large boy. No thank you, I am not interested in large boys. No thank you. Climbing. We got the elevator. Heck yeah. Elevator. Look at how much shit I'm covered in. I'm like... Christmas colors, but with bodily excretions. That's pleasant. Fuck. In case anyone was under the impression that I'm good at this game, the answer is no! I'm not! I suck! I pressed the dodge button, but okay. Now we will return to the dream to see the dolly. Dolly! I like dolls. I know a lot of people don't. I don't really get it, but I like dolls. I thought I killed this guy. Did I go the other way? I did? Oh, I went from up there. Right. I recall. Well, I don't really feel like going back up there, so not doing that. Wonder if does Gilbert have anything to say after you kill yes, Claire's beast? 
But the great bridge is the only way to the cathedral ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, powerful area south of the great bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the cathedral ward. <coughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? You and your handsome voice, Gilbert. Imagine coughing up a lung and still having a voice that nice. I don't understand. Some people have all the luck. Yeah, I get that like, dolls are kind of uncanny or whatever. I don't know, I like them. Hello. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stayed here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. So I probably have... Do I have one or two? One. Um... Go mm, strength? Mm. Ooh, that's actually a pretty significant jump. I guess I'll do that. Thank you. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I might have played this game a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh we'll fortify my cleaver. It's weird that you can hear him breathing. Like, it's like he's breathing in my ear and I don't like it very much. Ah! Ah! Um, I don't think I can buy the lantern. Yeah, I still don't have enough. That's okay. Um. You know what I should do? Uh, I guess I could buy... I'm probably gonna need a lot of blood vials for a certain someone. And then we can go back to the sick room. Talk to Yosefka again. Yosefka. That's a fun name. It's fun to say. I'm excited for D and D this week. It feels like it's been forever already. You are safe, thank goodness. But I'm afraid nothing will change. I cannot open the door. I'll do what I can, of course. Perhaps this will help you. If only in some small way. Now go. I pray for your safety. Well, we're gonna meet Kyrie, so I mean... I feel like people would look forward to that. Uh, I have to put it back in my hotbar again. That's annoying. I'll go back. 
Uh, for context, she gives you different dialogue um, as you go on using those. So I'm trying to get the dialogues. Oh, look it! She's sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> Welcome home, good hunter. Why is she so cute? Off. What is it you desire? They're the, the guys oh, that woke hunter. me up from my nightmare. They also sell you items. I'll give you a good view. Aren't they charming? Don't you love them? They just want to help out. Welcome, what is it? Ah, the little ones. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself. Worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Yeah, to be honest, they are... They are ugly as hell, but they are charming, honestly. No, they're charming. They're just little guys. They're like, oh, look at how cool you are. Wow. Senpai, notice me. Notice me, Senpai. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I planted beets a few days ago and I dug them up a little bit and they have sprouted. And they are so cute. Their roots are like bright pink and they look like little wormies. And I'm excited. I hope Mika doesn't fireball my wormies though. You are safe. Thank goodness. But I'm afraid nothing will change. I cannot open the door. I'll do what I can, of course. Perhaps this will help. Now, I pray. She didn't say something different that time. But I know she is supposed to. Maybe it's because of when I used it? Uh, traditionally, like, Russian food has a lot of beets in it. Um, you can pickle them. They're pretty good like that. They're honestly just, like, they taste kind of, like, sweet. And they're root vegetables, so they have kind of, like, a, a potato-y texture when you cook them, I guess. But they're not as fluffy. I guess it's more like carrot, actually. It's like a carroty texture. Um... I don't know. You can just like roast them and eat them with whatever you want. Maybe like... Yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Brandon, help me out. Help me. I don't know what you eat with me. I think in Russia they eat like boiled eggs with them. Which is an odd combination, but, you know, okay, I guess. Ew. I don't really like sauerkraut. I'm German, but I'm not a fan of sauerkraut. Not sure how that happened. Ah, oh, but I'm afraid no I'll do perhaps... Maybe it only so changes. Oh, okay. Us, I am certain. And once the night of the hunt ends, we can speak face to face. Then I can finally see what you look like. 
I shouldn't be thinking this. <laughs> but I am rather looking forward to it. God. So please, be careful out there. Well, now I gotta make it through the night just to see Yosefka happy. Gonna beat the game for Yosefka. Uh, so, Bravo, and then I guess I could just run over there. It's not that big of a deal. You know, I think the bridge is actually the place that makes the most sense to go. I used to go from Central Yarnum, but I think to get past the trolls without fighting them, it makes more sense to just go to the bridge. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, though. It's weird, Brennan's like right next to me and I can see him watching me on his computer while I'm right here playing the game. Oh my gosh, I can see my creature. Hi, creature! Frisky? Hi, Frisky, are you sleepy, buddy? Hi, bud. God, he's so cute! I love him! Oh, uh, I don't know if you noticed this door. And you were like, why didn't you try the door? Wow, you can't actually open it, like, at all, ever. Which is kind of frustrating. Look at all this statuary. It's so beautiful. Beautiful statuary. Definitely not kind of disturbing. Why do you cry, lady? Lady, why do you cry? Did the government take away your rights? Such is the standard for women nowadays. Hello, hello. Goodbye. That would be scary, huh? I hear you behind me. <laughs> uh, you know, I am not going to comment on whether or not they do come to life, but that would be scary. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I could do this without him noticing me. When have statues ever done such a thing? Hello. I was kind of hoping to just, like, sneak by you. Yeah. <laughs> Get the rest. Uh Whoop Not no. Often, always, maybe. There we go. Well, look at this mob. How am I gonna fight all these guys? Oh no, whatever will I do? There's a lot of people. Oh, oh my god! Oh god! <laughs> yeah, sometimes they survive. <laughs> Anybody leave me an item, maybe? Because that would be cool. I don't have that many blood echoes and healing vials. Mika. Mika and her fireball. Okay. 
Uh, unless I recall m incorrectly, this is not what Mika looks like, though. Man, it is stressful to fight those. <laughs> Every time I'm like clenching my toes in stress. <laughs> Why don't you give us a description from each, Brandon? I mean, how else will we know? She did go through puberty again. Did she? Confusion. What is that stomping noise? Me pretending like I don't know what happens in this game. Ready for something unsightly? <laughs> yeah! Elf puberty. Well, I mean... But she kind of was already like... Didn't she just go into an adult elf body? Like, she didn't like go through elf puberty. <sighs> but fuck pig. When I was playing as Hanzo, I'd always be like, time for your checkup! Oh, that would suck. It's bad enough going through, like, human... Human... Uh... Wow, it's right in front of me and I can't remember the word. Puberty. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty obviously a boss, right? <laughs> uh... Are we ready? Yeah, I don't have enough blood echoes to level up, so it's not like I can go do that. Yeah, but do elves get pimples or body odor? I, I genuinely don't know. Oh. Am I ready? No, just the urge to be created. <laughs> Who, who went through the cringiest puberty, do we think? Ugh. Okay. Yoriko is probably true. Beasts all over the shop. You will be one of them sooner or later. <sighs> it's too bad, uh, he looks like he has stinky breath because his voice is the most handsome. Seems to me 
god. Oh god. This is not going very well. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even get to use the music box. Can I get a visceral in on that? Nope. Daddy Gascoigne. Oh my god! I am ripping through them! Damn. Well, uh, I got the Ed and Tomb key. Uh, <laughs> oh, for reference, um, I didn't look at the item description, but uh, the music box is what made him kind of like hold his head. Uh, that was why I mentioned that. And so here's the description. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. So, I just killed her dad. Go me! Yeah, uh, I'm kind of surprised to be honest. I did not think that I would be able to do either one of those in one shot. Uh. Oh, she's up there, right? Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> This game makes my heart hurt. <laughs> Where is it? Is it? Oh, it's right here. So I got a red jeweled brooch. A woman's bright red brooch engraved with the name Viola. Perhaps the jewel is a gift from a hunter. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. So that was her mom. Uh. <sighs> I try not to- well, I have done another a bit of a playthrough anyway. And I decided just to not talk to her. Um, because... Well, she's still at her house, is the thing. So her both of her parents are dead. Um. Yay. Should I go? No, I should go level up first. Feels bad, man. Pop a oil container. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see what you guys are saying while I was... I guess I could just go... yeah. So, there's going to be something that I would hope would be familiar. Um, since that was only a few weeks ago. Yeah, it sucks. To be honest though, like, uh, no matter what you do, she is pretty much doomed. Uh, it, yeah, no matter what you do, she doesn't get a happy ending or anything. What is this place? Oh, there's a treasure chest. And because I'm a gremlin, I'm going right for that. Blood gem workshop tool. Yeet. And the shiny note. The Birkenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. 
A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Whatever the fuck that means. Familiar sight. Doesn't this look familiar? I feel like I have seen this recently. Oh, I keep fucking shooting my gun for no goddamn reason. At least I didn't shoot him. This is my favorite character. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. A hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even the some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. Women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarn and done for, I tell you. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, Tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, seems trustworthy, huh? Yeah, I, I am accidentally wasting bullets. Women. <laughs> Women folk. <laughs> That makes me laugh every time. I don't know why. Let's go see the doll. Women. <laughs> Women. Brennan, you need to update Old Helm's World Anvil page. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? You have something new to say? Over time, oh. countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me... So I felt like I didn't have enough stamina again. Cause I just kinda button mash and I suck. The doll is named the doll. Uh Farewell, she hunter. could have a name, you but nobody uses it. Stuff got more expensive. This bitch think I'm stupid. Let's go talk to Yosefka again. What are you gonna name her? Healing church. I don't know why the way that they say church in this game is like kind of satisfying but kind of weird to me. Hey guys, aren't you excited to see our best friend Yosefka? The person that we're doing everything for now? Oh, well, hello. It's 
splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Off you go then. That was weird. If you find anyone who's still human, send them straight to Yusefka's clinic. You can assure them there's no place safer. Please. Do me this service. Okay, so we got two places that we can send people to. Where do we want to send everybody? Do we want to send them to the the weird looking guy in the chapel? Or the lady whose voice just now totally wasn't different than it was before Yosefka. Oh, should I just call her Eliza? <laughs> we don't like Yosefka. I'm down to not send them to Yosefka. It's a little darker now. I would go on record and call her a sussy baka, yes. <laughs> Isn't Eliza Maria's sister's name? Pretty sure. That was why I was saying that. The moon is coming out more, and the sun is going away because of sad daddy, bleh, daddy Gascoigne is dead. <laughs> Climbing a ladder. Where am I going even? I guess I could go... Tell the little girl about what happened to her parents. Oh, wait, let's talk to Gilbert. <coughs> I didn't concern yourself with me. I'm just literally I'm dying, don't worry about me. But before I did this. Mm. It depends on what you consider daddy. Like his meaning was incurable. But this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate. Unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Gilbert, don't die. No. Okay, I'm fascinated to know who you think is who else you think is daddy in this game. Cause me calling Gascoigne daddy is a joke about his voice being very attractive. <laughs> so like Who's your bloodborne daddy, Brandon? <laughs> uh I guess I could just run through, I mean I'm trying to figure out 
Uh, mime, mime it to me. Oh, I mean, I guess. That's not really what I meant, though. <laughs> v? Oh, yeah. Nope, you're right. He is daddy. Sorry, Nana. When um we learn about these people, we will tell you that Brandon thinks that they're daddy. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, apparently I can't decide which way I'm going. So I'm gonna go this way. So... Do we want... To give the girl her mother's brooch back, or do we want to take it for ourselves? Is, is that something that I should do, or should I just let her suffer? <laughs> but you will eventually know, I mean... Not gonna keep it from you forever. Mystery guy. Give the brooch back. Okay, I'll do that then. Ow. That went poorly for me. One hundred percent unavoidable to think what? That they are daddy? <laughs> the deformed bar dude! <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that I survived that. I was not doing very well. Um, let's see our item over here Brandon are you interested in deformed bara dudes oh that troll comes back if I kill them though doesn't he wow that was easy Mr. Troll, just walk by me, okay? I'm not here. Unless they're jacked, then they are a benchmark. What does that mean? Benchmark? Okay. Well, I'm a terrible person. Fucking dog! God! 
Are they your fitness inspo, Brandon? Is that what you meant? Because it kind of sounded like the opposite was the case. Brandon is watching TikToks. How dare you? Then what are you doing? Brandon is a creature. Brandon is a creature. Brandon is a creature. Hey, he sees me! <laughs> Looking for images of the dude we're talking about? Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think you'll be able to find images of the first one. Just a guess. kind of TikToks are you watching, Brandon? Oh, he said he wasn't watching TikToks, though. Imagine having this house. Like, what a shithole. Your back door goes out to the sewer. Literally a shithole. Uh, isn't there another ladder? 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 I'm sure there is, I just don't see it. Because I'm stupid. Yep, it was right there. I'm the best at this game. Whoopsie daisy! Creature! Uh, do I even need to go down here? Honestly, don't remember. And this economy! Yeah, good luck getting a house in this economy. Ripperoni and Barberoni. Search the corpse. Thank you. Cold blood. Oh, I missed. <laughs> but that would have been cool though. I would have looked cool for once in my life. Yeah, I would recommend you don't come over here. Stinky rats. like suddenly kind of okay at this game <laughs> I feel like the first time through I was just nothing but shit I stopped playing for like a month for a few months I guess and now it's like oh hey you're allowed to be good at this game now I'm like okay fucking whatever I guess <laughs> banked up the skill well you know what Maybe it's because I'm like, I don't have headless bloodletting beasts to look forward to, like, looming over my head. Because <laughs> that was suffering. Who did I suffer most with? Angry face? Angry face? Question marks? I do not understand why angry face, but okay. Yeah, I don't have to fight. 
I don't have to fight her. Thank God. Like, she herself wasn't that bad of a boss. But, like, getting to her is a pain in the ass. And I'm really glad I don't have to do that. Uh, I never did kill the Lauren Dark Beast. Did not get around to doing that. Cause like, you don't have to, so like, why would I? It's just suffering! Even with the whirly gig, like, the whirly gig normally makes beasts a fucking joke. But then Lauren Dark Beast is like, I'm not gonna stay in one place long enough for you to do that to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Welcome home. What is it you... Oh. Very well. Let, let me stand. Oh, you know, just the queen lady. I guess, um, I'll boost, or should I boost? I guess I'll do that. What is a dark beast? Are you joking? I actually can't tell if you're joking. Farewell, good hunter. Uh, I guess let's go to Eden. Oh, I have eight insight. Should I spend some insight? I don't. I don't think I have anything I can even spend it on though. Oh, I can get daddy clothes. <laughs> Honestly, no. Uh, Gascoigne's stuff is pretty good, so I am gonna buy it. Won't get to see any fun stuff in the Cathedral Ward, but that's okay. Because I'm probably going to go to Old Yarnum first. Um... And then we can do Dark Beast Parl eventually. And... I want the poison resistance on Gascoigne's clothes for getting past Old Yarnum. Hey Nana, did you ever recognize this? Doesn't it look familiar? Hmm. Look at all these urns. Maybe the urns will help. My guy is kind of in the way, but like... Hmm, very familiar. Creature in the urns. Nana! <laughs> oh man. I have no memory of this place. <laughs> Brandon, would you like to reveal it, or are we just gonna leave it like that? Ow, God! I did not fight Maria here. This is not where you fight Maria. It was the... The scene picture for where the, um, what is it called? The scene picture for where the sarcophagus of General Are was. Eden Chapel. Do you want to see something disturbing? Wow, 
wow, look at this little item that I can pick up here. Wow. What in the fuck is that? <laughs> what in the fuck is that? Nope, nope. Go. Go upstairs. Do not look at me. I do not have it in me today to fight that thing. Not at this level. <laughs> no thank you. I see you there. Jacob Marley. <laughs> Ooh, ow. It does kind of look like him, though. Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> oh, I didn't even see him there. Can I even try to sneak up on this guy while they're all... Nope. Suck. <laughs> Hello, little birdie. That's not the right way. You wanna know why these birdies are so big? Fun fact. There are so many dead bodies just hanging out in Yarnum that all the crows started eating them and they got too big and too fat to fly anymore. So now they are earthbound, I guess you would say. And they are very vicious and they want to eat more people. <laughs> Creatures. Look at this. I was down there. That's where I... That's where I saw the lady. Or talked to the lady that had the dog outside her door. And that's the the bridge that the fireball thing went across. It's cool that you can see it. Monocular! Now I can get close looks at the people. Monocular. What a lovely statue! Of definitely not a mind flayer. Definitely not. What well, I mean, it's not a telescope, though. It's not a telescope. It's not a telescope, it's a monocular. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Creature. Ow. Hmm. I should probably... I'm probably going to go... Get the treasure over here and then I'm gonna stop because... I'm getting pretty tired and I have to pee. And it's really hot and I am... Ready to do something else because this game is stressful. Hi! Yep, that's okay, I don't need that. Goodbye, Jojo! Woohoo! 
I don't know why you have to do this every time, but you have to. I've played enough Zelda games to know that when you see a pot, you just gotta break it. Got it. Even if you're never gonna get anything out of it. Gotta break it. Okay. My mission is complete. And here's the door that everybody thinks goes to where you fight the clear keys. I got my first gem, blood gem. Yeet! Alright, um, I'm pretty tired. It's hot. I think I'm gonna head out, but... Um, I'm gonna keep streaming throughout the week because Brandon's not gonna be here and I have nothing better to do, so... Um, just let me know what times would work, maybe? Um, if not, I can always just stream and then you can watch back the VOD. Um, cause I'll upload them to YouTube too, just in case. Um, but yeah. I hope you like Bloodborne so far. And, uh... You maybe got some insight, get it, insight, huh, about, uh, D&D. &D. Alright, bye! I don't know why I'm doing a peace sign, but I am. Goodbye!